of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear friends, families, religious sisters, priests, all of you, people of other faiths also joining in this Eucharist, a hearty welcome as we pray to God, receive his word, his message, and offer ourselves up to him in sacrifice, in union with our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for ourselves, for our families, for our countries. And we pray that each one of us personally might come closer to God. We begin the sacrifice once again purifying ourselves, asking God to wash us of our sins, and therefore humbly we say, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now all together praise God in the words of the Gloria. You alone 
let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity. Make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please sit for the readings. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, You shall not wrong a sojourner or oppress him, for you were sojourners in the land of Egypt. You shall not mistreat any widow or fatherless child. If you do mistreat them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry and my wrath will burn and I will kill you with the sword. And your wives shall become widows and your children fatherless. If you lend money to any of my people with you who is poor, you shall not be like a money lender to him and you shall not exact interest from him. If ever you take your neighbor's cloak in pledge, you shall return it to him before the sun goes down, for that is his only covering, and it is his cloak for his body. In what else shall he sleep? And if he cries to me, I will hear, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brethren, you know what kind of men we proved to be among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord. For you received the word in much affliction with the joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For not only has the word of the Lord sounded forth from you in Macedonia and Achaia, but your faith in God has gone forth everywhere, so that we need not say anything. For they themselves report concerning us the kind of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly rise as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah. 
the Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory be to you O Lord at that time when the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees they gathered together and one of them a lawyer asked him a question to test him teacher which is the great commandment in the law and he said to them you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind this is the great and the first commandment and the second is like it you shall love your neighbor as yourself on these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ My friends, brothers and sisters, in the heyday of uh, atheistic communism, religion was suppressed in many of these countries on the pretext or the reason giving the reasoning being given was that religion takes away your freedom so no religion be free completely and as we saw all over the world where there was this atheistic communism uh, religion was gradually diminished I've, I've been to East Germany and see saw the results there and uh, but also no one can deny gradually the freedom also the people were enslaved by the government so not only they lost the main thing religion they lost also the second thing their own freedom uh, there is a law in uh, human activities human relations uh, that we can call the law of second things and uh, when one chooses the lower instead of the higher chooses the part instead of the whole the second instead of the first the end result generally is you lost the first because it has been uh, you neglected it but gradually you also lose the second so you are completely at a loss and empty the law of second things today's gospel passage where Jesus says you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind is really uh, and then you should the second is like it you shall love your neighbor as yourself is again giving us this an application of the same principle or maybe the root of the same principle first things first second things second you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind this is taken from Deuteronomy Jesus was answering as we know we just read uh, they were this is on the this ha happened probably they tell us on the Tuesday of Holy Week and uh, Jesus was and they one by one if you remember last Sunday's gospel and the previous Sunday's gospel, they were challenging him consistently uh, whom to give taxes to Caesar or and then they were saying uh, what about uh, marriage they, they were they wanted to trap Jesus and this in Matthew's gospel it's very clear that against they said the lawyer asked him to to test him again once again was not fully sincere but Jesus answered gave an answer 
Love God, love your neighbor as yourself. The first and second. This is, I was saying, the Shema in the Jewish and every uh, Jewish service began with this phrase, love the Lord with all your God, all your heart, all your soul, all your mind and uh, every Jewish child knew it in the, the, those times and uh, many would tie it and put it over here at the forehead, some would, uh, this verse would be uh, put in a little armlet and, and kept on the arm and out, outside the door it would hang on the door. It was something which was basic to them. What is love of God? What is love of God with all your heart? Heart was meant to be the will in that, in that connotation. Mind to understand the intellect and soul was the whole person. So you love God totally, that's what Jesus said, that's the first commandment. There is a reason why this lawyer asked Jesus. The background is the whole law at that time was comprised in the Torah, the five books, the first five books of the Old Testament, uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, uh, and uh, everything was there and all the laws were there and when they counted they found uh, 613 laws. 365 were prohibitions thou shalt not do and 248 were what they should do. So minute things about different things, 300 and 613 laws. Now naturally, uh, and that was, that's why those of us who have been following St. Paul, reading St. Paul these days, the daily masses, know how Paul was saying, that's not your salvation, all these laws. It's Jesus Christ, faith in Jesus Christ. And Jesus also like amplifies it more, love of God. This is, so he says all these 613 are expressions in the way of, uh, in a very real way of what I'm telling you. Love of God, second love of neighbor. Love God totally, it's a decision. How do you love God? Love God with your reading of the scriptures, so exposure to the word of God. Love God with, increase your love of God with prayer, with the sacraments, coming close to Jesus. We've been speaking of a personal relationship with Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the mystics, we spoke of St. Teresa of Avila, even John Paul II, all these saints, uh, really, they had a personal encounter with Jesus. You and I are not so holy. You and I are on the path still, trying to reach this closeness. But we try to know God better with our minds, try to resolve to do to love Him better and therefore do all our things. But that's the basic principle. Love of God, who's our creator, who gave us everything. And the second love of love your neighbor as yourself flows from this. You see, it is because of love of God when we understand that God is our creator. God has told us to love others. God has told us that we are one family. We are brothers and sisters. That we've got to, whatever you do to the least of my brothers, you do unto me. When you feed the hungry, clothe the naked, give shelter to the homeless, you are doing it unto me. Uh, Jesus is, uh, it's this theological principle which leads us to understand and to want to help others. If we do not have that as the first principle, sisters and brothers. Gradually, when you look at our neighbors, the idea would be, let me take care of myself first before I take care of my neighbor. And individualism would come on, not solidarity, which Pope Francis has been telling us over and over again. But if you love God first, if you understand Him, if you come have a relationship with Him, and that's deep enough, you will show your relationship in your love for neighbor. You'll begin to understand that the necessity of the love of neighbor, of helping him or her, of going out to his aid, of being a friend to him. And the neighbors, who is a neighbor? Everybody. You begin with the family, spouses, children, neighbors staying together, same parish, neighbors, 
the first reading of today's mass tell us tells us again very strongly uh, what we how we should love our neighbors the migrant the aliens they call them the widow the orphan the one who's poor you lend his coat give him give it back to him before the night what else so really uh, tells us how we should care for others but all that is because we love our god sisters and brothers if you reflect you'll realize that if you do not have a, that basis in your mind and in your heart gradually the love of neighbor will diminish and you'll begin to think of yourself but if you love god more and more this relationship with others also will increase and be deepened and you'll see yourself more and more it's a fallacy to think that why bother about theology why bother about god let me take care only of my neighbor then you'll become and like the social worker a pure social worker and gradually it will be the center will be yourself and you'll be a social worker who is concerned about what it brings to you the salary the advantage not what the, not he's not the center she's not the center and that's therefore the necessity of having these priorities and if you love your neighbor more and more help your neighbor more and more i want to say and i begin by saying your neighbor is also your own spouse because god you love god you understand the meaning of the sacraments understand the meaning of marriage there's need for adjustment for forgiveness for trying to work together what jesus taught us in the the gospels the relationship deepens if you love god we understand the motive why we've got to help others and gradually what jesus told us again our bank balance with god increases in the sense we are we get greater peace greater satisfaction and we are really preparing ourselves well to go to heaven if we love our neighbor then we are careful about nature not abusing nature care for creation reflect more and more on this really deep principle jesus has given us the second one i have said the first one from the deuteronomy the second one love your neighbor as yourself is from leviticus also also in the old testament on these two jesus says hangs all the law and all the prophets i remember i want to end with this when i was a seminarian years and years ago in my first years our spiritual director i still remember him like he held our hands to take us closer to prayer taught us to taught us to pray for the jb fernandes but i remember very clearly one one day he put an uh, an article he would put an articles for us on the notice board for us to read and uh, i read a notice uh, an article there which i liked very much and it it said uh, how to have joy and then the whole thing was i don't remember the details but i remember the essence of it to have joy put j jesus first o others next your by yourself last i thought it was very clever it sounded very nice so i said i must when i become a priest i must preach about this uh, that time i thought it was very clever uh, and afterwards i began to say uh, it also it's uh, nice for a sermon but today i can realize reading the gospel here in jesus not only is it clever and sounds nice but it is the truth we want joy jesus first others next yourself last have joy come closer to the lord love your lord your god with all your heart all your mind all your soul and love your neighbor as yourself god bless you
Let's say the Nicene Creed today as our response. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with, with the scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through, through the, prophets. the prophets. I believe, I believe in one holy, holy Catholic, Catholic and Apostolic, Apostolic Church. I confess, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness, for the forgiveness of sins. sins. And I look, and I look forward, forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Strengthened by the presence of the Spirit, we celebrate with joy the great commandment of love. May we reach out in love and share his love with everyone. Let us confidently bring our prayers before him. Our response is, Heavenly Father, hear our prayer. Can you repeat? Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Oswald Cardinal Gracious, all the bishops of India, our priests and religious, that the preaching and example may encourage the faithful to stand firm in their belief as witnesses of love. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all our government leaders, that they may promote harmony, understanding, peace and reconciliation among all peoples. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, hear our prayer. For the many ministries of the church that manifest God's love, especially our healthcare facilities, educational institutions, community centers, and charitable works, that they may enjoy full protection to fulfill their mission. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, hear our prayer. prayer. For those in need, the homeless, the unemployed, for the sick, those in hospital, for those who are sad, lonely or grieving, and for those who help them. We pray to the Lord, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, hear our prayer. prayer. For an end to the COVID-19 pandemic, and that all of us show consideration and care for others, and abide strictly by the guidelines which our governments and healthcare professionals recommend to control the COVID virus. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, hear our pray. prayer. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for those intentions who are of those who have asked for our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, you showed us the fullness of your love by sending your Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed us by his passion, his death, and his resurrection. Hear our prayers. Strengthen us 
that we may always follow your command of love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. We sit. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven, May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin by the passion of the cross. He freed us from unending death. By raise, rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. So with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be coerced to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence the Father in the words Jesus called, taught us. Our Father, Our Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, we as we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. Lead, us, lead not us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer the sign of peace. Christ's peace be with you. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, be all him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under my roof. roof. Only, only say the word, word my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed.
we now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies in them, that what we now celebrate in science we may one day possess in truth. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine on you and show you his mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you for participating. Peace of Christ be with you. And don't forget the message of today's gospel. To love yourself, love others. To love others, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. Have a lovely Sunday, lovely week. And some of you, I'll see you this evening for the question and answer session. God bless you. We pray now for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
true